Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm delighted to be here. Firstly, um, thanks to my hosts, Hermes Airports, for having invited me. Um, I'm going to start today with just a little bit of information about myself to help put things into perspective. Um, go back to that one. So, um, I'm an international marketer. I studied the start subject back in my university days a long time ago, and I've 28 years' experience in the marketing industry, the last 18 of which have been in travel industry. Um, I'm a member of various different industry bodies, including the Chartered Institute of Marketing, the Institute of Public Relations, and the Institute of Directors. Um, now, back in 1998, I set up my agency um, to specialise in the travel and tourism industry, and we now have 10 experts in sales and marketing, um, representation, and public relations, and we've won a number of awards in the industry for our work. We promote destinations and travel companies, um, both in the UK and Europe, and we've also just started up a new company in China to do the same thing. I'm also very proud to be the elected chair of the Visit USA Association, and I have been for the past five years. Um, we have 200 members, and we promote travel to and within the USA from the UK. Uh, here's just a few of the clients that we've worked with over the years. Um, some will be uh, well known to you, I'm sure, places like Visit Florida and Virgin Holidays, very big brands. But we've also worked with less known destinations like uh, Calvia in Mallorca and the Azores Islands, as well as commercial clients like Lowe's Hotels and the helicopter site sightseeing company called Heli. So, to the title of my talk. Um, I've been asked here today because of that background, and I thought this was a good way of starting out. Successful international destination marketing, is it about luck or judgment? Well, in my opinion, there's one very quick one-word answer, and that it's about both. Luck, sorry, I can't really help you there, but luck does have a very important part to play, because good luck can boost a marketing campaign, and bad luck can wreck it. But judgment, I can help you there, as good judgment, informed thinking, and a bit of intuition can carry the day. For example, the cruise line Carnival, they had a launch event for one of their ships and the judgment of the marketing team was to use the famous English actress Dame Judi Dench. She was going to christen the ship with a bottle of champagne. The bottle wouldn't break. So she took the bottle from the cradle and she smashed it against the ship with her own hand. The bottle exploded and it covered her head to toe in champagne and bits of glass. Now, was that good luck or bad luck? Well, it could have gone either way, but luckily she wasn't hurt, so there weren't any photographs of her drenched in blood. But the photo showed her laughing and dripping with champagne, and the clever newspapers came up with the title Dame Judy Drench. And those photos and that headline went all around the world. So the coverage was well, well in excess of what it would have been if things had gone to plan. So here, Carnival really, really benefited. But luck can work against you if a natural disaster occurs or something else happens in the world that makes your campaign in bad taste, irrelevant or inappropriate. You have to make sure that you have the judgement of a good team in place to rescue that situation and put it back on its feet quickly and effectively. So what is good judgment? How do we inform our thinking? We plan, we research, we partner with each other, and we get on to get creative. 